In the first video of the SAR video series, we did a brief overview tour of the instrument interface. In the second video, we'll dive into the heart of the synth, which are the controls that are responsible for the sound generation. And in SAR, that would be the oscillator, filter, and LFO section. Technically, the oscillator is actually the sole sound generator, but without the filter and LFO sections, sound coming from the oscillator alone would be dull and lifeless. An oscillator is a device of a synthesizer that essentially provides the instrument a waveform. This waveform is the foundation of the sound. SAR, in fact, has two oscillators, a main oscillator and a sub-oscillator, with the addition of a static noise generator. If you had played around with synths in the past that included oscillators, you may recall that you can select the type of waveform that is used for the sound generation. However, with SAR, the instrument's main oscillator internally uses only a saw waveform, as this is the instrument's primary character, thus the name. However, the sub-oscillator can be either a saw or a square waveform. We will take a look at the sub-oscillator in a second. To get a better understanding of how oscillators work, I will reset the instrument to its default state by using the reset program described in the previous video. With the instrument in its default state, you can hear the basic sound of the saw waveform oscillator. The sound you hear is the main oscillator alone without any sub-oscillation or filtering, thus is pretty dull and lifeless. To spice it up, we have a few tools at our disposal. The first would be a sub-oscillator. The primary function of this oscillator is to be merged with the main oscillator to create a new characteristic of the sound. As it sits now, the sub-oscillator generates the same sound as the main oscillator. So as I increase its level, you may hear what appears to be an increase in the volume. The phase control adjusts the phase relationship between the two oscillators. So at 0%, the two waveforms share the same phase. However, at 100%, there is a complete inverse in the phase. Of course, you can set this to somewhere between 0 and 100. Already you can hear, by simply altering the phase relationship, we have already exposed a little life to the sound. The sub-oscillator octave control allows you to pitch shift the sub-oscillator pitch by half octave steps, from 0 to plus 2, and from 0 to minus 2. Setting this to a whole octave value, the sound will take on a characteristic of an octaver effect. While setting this to half octave values will give you more of a chord effect when only a single note is played. The detune control allows you to apply more subtle pitch shifting to the sub-oscillator. This will help thicken up the overall sound without a chord effect or an octaver effect. 0% applies no detuning, while moving the control towards 100% increases the detuning amount. The square switch will change the sub-oscillator's waveform from saw to square. Square waveforms tend to be harsh sounding, however, they can complement the softer sound of the saw waveform quite nicely. The invert switch will inverse the sub-oscillator's waveform, so that it is out of phase with the main oscillator. This can add a sense of space to your sound. With the main oscillator, sound is generated once the instrument receives a note on message from either your MIDI controller keyboard or from the host application. However, the sub-oscillator is always running. It can only be heard once the main oscillator is playing. This can cause problems with the phase, as once the note is played, the two oscillator waveforms may not be starting with the same phase, i.e. starting from zero. By enabling the re-trigger switch, you are telling the sub-oscillator to set its phase to zero with each note played. But in some situations, you may prefer the sound of the two oscillators starting out of phase. Noise is very commonly used to add grit and punch to the oscillated synthesis. The noise generator is very straightforward. Increase the noise level brings more of the noise into your sound. Lastly, we have the sync frequency option. Inside the instrument, there are two oscillators that we discussed that are responsible for generating sound. However, there is one more oscillator that is not heard. This oscillator's job, when the sync frequency option is enabled, is to modulate the phase of the main oscillator. With every complete cycle of this oscillator, 
The main oscillator will have its phase reset to zero, regardless of its current position in the waveform. This can be used to bring out more of the harmonics and overtones. And that concludes our look at the oscillator sections of SAR. In the next video, we'll continue our look at sound generation by using filters to further sculpt the characteristics of the sound.